In this video, I will show you how you can create this blueprint in 2D and make it a 3D solid. So I start off with an open Visi, and then I'm going to use the sketch line command to draw that out. Now in the sketch line command, I have a nice feature where I can just type in a value and it gives me that length. So once I've done that, I'm going to use the enhance pick and sketch circle, and I'm going to input my XYZ offsets to place it in the certain position I need it to be placed in. Like in sketch line, in sketch circle I also have the ability to input a value and it gives me the radius of what I'm looking for. So within this XYZ offset, I just did a little math calculation and Visi automatically calculates the values that I needed. So I'm going in a negative number based off of where this is located at in the work plane to draw out my circles. Basically I'm just inputting in the radiuses in here. And this will be for the outside boundaries of my piece. I'm continuing to add my circles in here, and let's say I make a mistake and I made the circle way too big. I can use the Edit Elements button without having to completely redo the circle, and I just type in the radius that I'm looking for. Since I do that, I just hit the Enter key, and it confirms it. So then I'm going to use the Sketch Line command to draw out and connect my lines together. I will make a radius or a red around these later and I will be trimming out the interior circles or the unneeded lines as well. So I'm going to input the last circle group at the very top. So I'm figuring these calculations out by doing some mathematics. And I just continue inputting the values. So once I've created all my circles and everything I need, I'm just going to do a sketch line because where that line is located at, looking at the blueprints, I just draw it off in that area. Then I'm going to create a fillet which will get rid of the interior parts. So now I'll input the radiuses that I need and basically connect my outside boundaries together. So then after I've done that I'm going to use the break correct command. This is geared for trimming out in any unneeded lines so the interior lines will be deleted using the break direct tool. So now as you can see, I'm left with my main piece. So once I've completed this, I'm now going to turn it into a 3D model. I start by creating these wireframe lines into profiles, and then I'm going to use the extrude elements command to turn this into a solid. So I'm going to give it the distance I'm looking for, which in the blueprints said 15 millimeters. So that's why I'm going to put it in. And now I need to subtract out my holes. So I've got a couple holes in here. I'm going to subtract out 15 out of them, which makes them through holes. Then I have this smaller interior hole for the counterbore. I'm going to make that smaller. Once complete, this would be my finished piece.